Let's check in now for some Trader Talk with Alan Beckman, the Chief Market Strategist at St. Paul Research. Alan, the S&P is up more than 8% for the past month. Hello, Angie. Things are getting hot again, so I'm at the beach. We use this surge in stocks to take some profits here recently, and it was a classic example of how options operate and the staying power and the power of options. Uh, SPWR, Sun Power, we had taken half the position off in uh, June, market sold off a bit, and now we exited the other half here uh, this week with a 100% gain. That's the ability to ride through the ups and downs, have limited risk, and put yourself in position for success. What's your new trade? All right, this week's trade trigger, it's in Shopify, S-H-O-P. This was a $175 stock earlier this year. It's been trading between 30 and 40 sideways now for three months. So looking to see a breakout here, a breakout targets 50 on the upside. Now this is an incredible tight channel in this stock and we're looking to see how it can benefit off this bottom base. We've seen bullish divergence, meaning it made new lows, but not new highs and implied volatility. That's a sign that the shorts are getting set up for a squeeze. And also that we've seen, like I said, this bottom place, this bottom base is in place. We're seeing smart money buying uh, at a super, super discount on sale in SHOP. What is your call option strategy on Shopify? All right, the play today is looking at the October option, has about three months of time. The October 30 call, again at that bottom base, that 30 call is trading for about 11 or 12 right now. It's deep in the money with the stock sitting at 40. So it's gonna give us a nice payoff on move up to that $50 target. This option will about double in value. Time to get your trading day takeaways, Alan, before you take off. All right, let's talk trading takeaways. Trading takeaway number one. 2020. Now, the NASDAQ has actually led the way on this comeback and has taken out those June highs, which is the critical level to keep an eye on. But more importantly, is we're about 20% off the lows of six weeks ago, and we're just a little bit over 20% off the highs. Number two, the S&P score. You've got to look at the S&P here, and the S&P has also bounced off that bottom of six weeks ago, and it's actually about 10% off that bottom and about 10% off the all-time high. So we're uh, building a, a solid base here, but again, we need to be above 4,200 uh, in that S&P for confirmation because that was the June range where we saw that dr that that dangerous drop. All right, and lastly, number three, uh, number three is rate it. Again, I can't keep stressing this enough. We've been talking about rates for weeks, months, years, and now things are starting to happen uh, from a bullish standpoint in the fact that the connection is happening with rates and stocks as it used to be. I've been trading for 30 years, and typically when stocks move up, rates move down in, in, in the inverse relationship. Now that disconnected for about six months, but now what we've seen here in the last couple of weeks is rates have come straight down after the Fed action as intended. And so we saw the 10 year yield drop from three and a half percent down to two and a half percent. That's a 30% drop in just six weeks. And guess what? We saw that 10% rally in stocks in that same six weeks. That about covers it. Thank you, Alan. Thank Go to you. businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.